Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm David Penley and this is my daughter, Ellie. So a couple of nights ago, Ellie came in the kitchen and said she wanted to bake a TikTok recipe, which is usually a disaster and a huge mess for me to clean up. I mean, seriously. However, she made these cookies and they were outstanding. So I told her we gotta do a video, which is what we're doing now. These are a TikTok a crumble cookie. They're out of this world. But before we start, if you haven't already, do me a favor and click the subscribe button. All right, first step, we're going to mix our wet ingredients, right? Which is one stick of butter, a quarter of cup of vegetable oil, that one. Oh. <laughs> All right, one egg, and the last wet ingredient is a half, a teaspoon of vanilla extract. So with a hand mixer, Ellie is gonna mix these together really well. She's gonna mix it until it's nice and creamy. All right, next up, we're gonna add in our dry ingredients. We're gonna start with a half a cup of sugar, two tablespoons of powdered sugar, two and one third cups of flour, quarter teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar. You can also use a quarter teaspoon of cornstarch if you don't have the cream of tartar. Last thing we're gonna use is two teaspoons of baking powder. All right, with our hand mixer again, Ellie is going to get the ingredients all blended well. You should tell your subscribers that this is like, the like it's supposed to be crumbly like this. Cause that's what the girl in the video said that I watched. So your batter's, your batter's gonna look really crumbly and that's what it's supposed to look like. Like this. Yeah. So. So the cookie dough has been made. Now what? So next you wanna take a one fourth cup and you wanna scoop up some of your cookie dough. And then you just wanna put it into your hand. Like a little bit crumbly. And then you just wanna like pack it up and then put it into a little dough ball. And then put it on your parchment paper. Next, you wanna take a one third cup and then dip it in some water. And then next, dip it in some sugar. And then just press down your cookie. Cool. And then repeat, right? Yep. Awesome, well, let's do it. All right. Cookies are ready to go into the oven. The oven is preheated to 350 degrees. We're gonna bake them for about nine to 10 minutes, all right? So cookies are out of the oven. Uh, it took about 12 minutes for these. Uh, now we're gonna take them off the baking sheet and let them cool completely on a baking rack before we frost them. So let's put them on the baking rack. While our cookies are cooling completely on the baking rack, we're gonna make our frosting. It's like a buttercream frosting. Uh, you ready? Yep. All right, we're gonna start with a quarter cup of softened butter, one cup of powdered sugar, two tablespoons of heavy cream. For the coloring part, you can use food coloring, or Ellie actually used this decorative red sugar, um, and it worked out well. We used two teaspoons uh, in our frosting, and it gave it a nice pink color. And with the hand mixer, we're gonna let Ellie beat it until it's nice and creamy. All right, that's it. So it's a nice pinkish color. We'll wait for the cookies to cool and then we will be back to frost them. Cookies are cool and all they need now is to be frosted. So let's do it, put some frosting on them. I keep waiting for the mess. You always make a mess at some point. Not today. Because I'm hovering over you. Stop, I didn't. And now you're just <laughs> making up rumors about me. Oh, oh, careful. There's the mess. There. Finishing touch, we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of brown sugar on top of each cookie. Finished? Finished. We're done. All right, so, well, we have to do a taste test now. We gotta give them a shot, right? Mm -hmm. I also want that one. Well, here, you want that one? You can have that one. I'm just gonna have this one. All right. <laughs> Mmm, mm. it's real good. 
These are really good. These are really good cookies. <laughs> so if you liked the video, be sure to give us a like down below. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe over here. And if you're looking for more videos from me, you can check out this playlist. Uh, we'll see you guys next time.